everybody. We're here today at Port Yonkla Hospital and again with Minister of Finance Pascal Denny, who very kindly has visited here today in Banderslow. Um, very important because we got to meet with the General Manager James Keane and we got to get to meet with the Director of Nursing, um, Rita Fogarty, and we had a wonderful update in relation to the 50 bed unit that's planned for Port Yonkla Hospital here. Now, this has been a very unique investment, Minister, uh, um, you're probably very aware of it. Minister Simon Harris as well was here to visit us. Um, we secured this investment um, after a meeting in uh, Dublin and Leinster House in uh, September, where we led a clinical team to we led the clinical team to Dublin. Mm -hmm. So this is a phenomenal investment in our hospital here in Bamaslow. And I suppose, what have you heard from the update? I suppose you heard an update there. Well, I've been I've been aware now for quite a while of the need for investment here in this hospital, and I just want to recognise the amazing work that Ashling has done here impressing the case for this investment and for the 50 bed investment meeting with Minister Simon Harris and getting all of that on the way but it was really helpful for me to call into the hospital here this afternoon to meet the hospital manager to meet the, the director of nursing and to hear about the particular demographic uh, uh, nature of where the hospital is located how old many of the patients are and the strain that the hospital can come under when they're really busy and for example when they're really so Fine Gael, the government, due to Ashley, are really committed to delivering this investment. And I see it is not only being hugely important for how we meet the health needs of all who depend on this hospital, but it's also a really important part of the agenda for how we invest in the towns, the villages and the communities outside of our bigger cities to ensure that they have the investment and the support in healthcare that they not only need but they deserve. So it's good to be here, great to be here with Ashley. I want to come back here when Ashley is a TD and I want to come back here and see the opening of these 50 new bed facility and see that her constituents and the residents here in this area receive the health care that they need. And it's thank you so much, Pascal, and it's so important, guys. Thank you to everyone who has voted for me in the local elections. Every number one, number two, number three, it shows you that votes can achieve change. Because of my election, I was able to negotiate that meeting with Minister Simon Harris. And because of that negotiation, at that meeting, we secured funding. At no time had that funding been indicated beforehand. At no time had a timeline been indicated. Right now, tenders have issued for the enabling works. That has been done in January. And now you're going to see a wonderful 50-bed replacement unit. Considering we have 13 isolated rooms in here, we're now going to have over 50 to attend to people so that we're not dealing with solely eight-bed units. So it is fantastic. Thank you so much to Pascal for this. We're looking very much so to an opening next year. And we're hoping that we'll be able to give an update very shortly. So thank you very much to everyone who voted. Look at the change that you've achieved. And let's get forward to getting a TD. First time in 66 years here in Van Sloan. Thanks very much.